This video provides instructions for duplicating a basic figurine using a cut block mold method. Start with a touch of polymer clay, a figurine like this football player, and a cup. Instead of clay to hold the figure down, you can also hot glue the figure to the bottom of the cup. Now we spray a little bubble buster over your figure to reduce surface tension so bubbles are less likely to stick to your part. We will be using composite mold, reusable mold making materials, and composite cast resin. The composite mold is melted in the microwave. For a small container such as this 10 ounce container, it took approximately 50 seconds to melt. You only need to melt what you need, but if you melt too much, don't worry. It will still be good for the next time you need it. Composite mold is used because it can be remelted and reused for dozens of molds using the same molding material. Cover your part by approximately a quarter inch. For larger size pieces, use a slightly more to give a st sturdier surface. Another nice thing about composite mold is that it is relatively transparent, so you can see where the bubbles may stay. Like any molding material, bubbles can still become stuck in any crevice or undercut. Use a paper clip to pull the bubbles away from the potential problem areas such as the neck and under the arms. The mold will cool to solidify. This mold will take approximately 30 minutes to cool in the freezer. We pull away the cup that was used as your mold box. You can also use Legos, wood, plastic, or even aluminum foil to make your own mold box. Now to pull out the figure and prepare the mold for casting, we need to cut where we want the parting lines to be. We do this with a knife, scissors, or an X-Acto knife. We also need to cut between the legs to get the figure out. With this figure, you can see the parting lines from the original figure, so it's only a matter of following the same lines. We cut along the hand so we are able to pull it out without causing damage. We are now ready to make the casting. We use composite cast white resin, which is an epoxy resin that mixes one to one and works fantastically with the composite mold and impressive putty. After mixing, we use a syringe to push the resin into the areas where we know there will be difficulty. Because the arm is facing the way that it is, we know the resin will not flow into it. So we push some resin in before we push the two halves of the mold together. Just in case, we also put some resin into the football hand and the person's head and the helmet. Now we close the mold up and tape it shut. We then pour more resin into the base and through the legs to make sure all the areas are filled, we squeeze the mold and bubbles rose up and out. The resin is then pulled into the mold cavity to fill where the bubbles were. The composite cast solidifies in about 16 hours, so we leave it overnight. We are ready to pull the part out of the mold. We have two worries when pulling apart the mold. The most important issue is to make sure we don't break the part, and the second concern is to try not to rip apart the mold. We want to be careful on the hand because the resin is very thin, and also between the legs we want to pull away the mold without causing damage. And here we are. The casting is complete. At this point, you can cast another or you can remelt the mold and make another shape. If you want to keep the mold for long periods of time, wrap it in plastic wrap or a Ziploc bag. We then clean up the extra plastic by cutting away the extra material. These clippers from Zuron are handy for this as well as an X-Acto knife. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has inspired you to try mold making yourself. Your support is really important to us, so please subscribe to our channel and share this video with others. We also have a free mold making and casting guide that is available on our website compositemold.com. Thank you so much and please ask if you have any questions.